at noon and continuing coverage out of East Palestine, Ohio. As of this afternoon, East Tiger Street is back open. That road was closed since the train derailment back in February. Crews will still be stopping traffic periodically during the day to give trucks access to continue cleaning up the site. And staying in East Palestine, there is a group that doesn't want the train derailment to be forgotten. That group was working to gather information on the physical and mental health impacts to improve research efforts. KDK's Jessica Gway has the details from Ohio. Major excavation and soil work is nearing completion here where the fiery train derailment happened, but worries remain for the people of East Palestine. A new committee has been formed to listen to health concerns and look at questions that still haven't been answered. Nearly nine months ago, the East Palestine train derailment shocked the nation and put people's health in jeopardy. It is critically important that we don't look at the, and consider the train derailment as something that happened in the past, it's over. Dr. Maureen Lichtfeld, Dean of the University of Pittsburgh School of Public Health, is on a committee that was put together by the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine. It includes environmental health scientists, epidemiologists, first responders and local leaders. We must focus on what's going on in the health of people and some of the chemicals that were spilled can have an effect 10, 20 years from now. And so we're not done with the with the derailment. Health concerns and questions for future research will be the focus at a virtual community engaged workshop November 6th and 7th. After the derailment, an intentional burn of toxic chemicals in some of the cars sent a dark plume of smoke over the small town near the Ohio-Pennsylvania border. We could focus on exposure. There is still concerns from community that they have been exposed and there are uh, symptoms that they still have. What is What are questions that we still don't have answers for? So what's the research portfolio? How do we follow up communities and communities' health over time? Lichtfeld has been responding to natural and man-made disasters since 9-11. She spent two decades with the CDC. She co-led one of the committee's recent listening sessions that focused on children. It's the worry. It's the worry still for themselves and their health, but it's particularly the worry for the children. And that, just like with Hurricane Katrina, um, stays with you a long time. Committee members will put their findings together, which will go to the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences and the CDC and will be used in research. My motto is always making science work for communities, and this workshop will uniquely do that. A final listening session before the November workshop will be Thursday night online and at East Palestine High School. Anyone is welcome. You can also make comments on their website. We'll put all this information on KDKA.com. Reporting in East Palestine, Jessica Gway, KDKA TV News.